The AEW Dynamite ratings are in, folks. How did Tony Khan's all-in altercation footage get on? Well, let's talk about it. Then we'll go to his reaction as well. We've got a double whammy for you in this video. But the April 10th, 2024 edition of AEW Dynamite footage of CM Punk's backstage altercation with Jack Perry at the 2023 All-In Peter Fear event drew 819,000 viewers with a 0.318 to 49 demographic. Dynamite ranked number three for the day on cable in P18 to 49 behind two NBA games on ESPN. The third quarter R, which included the All-In footage, drew 888,000 with a 0.34 in the demographic. It was the only quarter from Dynamite that grew from the previous quarter. By comparison, it's actually up a decent amount from the last week. So you're looking at what, 48,000, uh, 67,000 were up from last week with also a 0.7, uh, well, a 0 0.07 increase in the demographic. So in terms of the rating, right? It's an increase. We'll get the Tony Khan react to it in a minute, but but I'm actually surprised it didn't go up by more. But again, like if you're only hyping up one thing, and it's footage, I'm actually surprised the show was relatively consistent. Now we will do a full ratings debrief and look at a wee bit later on today. But I'm actually surprised that the rating didn't go down by more. Now, do you praise AEW? Or is it just a simple case of people actually thought there was going to be a bit more fallout? Because literally all you got was the Young Bucks. they shown like a 20-odd second clip. And then that was it. And now, they have completely and utterly... They're copywriting anybody who puts this clip anywhere. And they've also... The clip has been removed from the actual YouTube clips. So it's like, they hyped up this... And in the Young Bucks clip on YouTube that you're led to believe shows the footage, doesn't actually show it, it cuts it out. So Tony Khan, there is rumours floating about, right? There is rumours floating about that Tony Khan has utterly fucked up here. And that he, he, he's broke some form of law or rule. I'm not too sure, and that's why he's trying to get it took down, but... But surely, if that's the case, he, he, he must have known what was going to happen prior to this. Like, I, just, I just don't understand how. But again, Shafani didn't know what he was going to show. People like that, I mean, they probably would have advised him not to do it. But, you know, him himself, the Young Bucks, they don't have a scooby snack what to do. And it's, it's a mess. And it's even if this show, right, say somehow... 10 million people tuned in wanting to know what happened backstage at Wembley seven months ago. What does it do for next week? Nothing. Doesn't You can't do anything with the story. CM Punk's in WWE. It didn't matter the number this drew. It, you, you've almost sabotaged your, your, your company, the morale from within, just for like a cheap dig at CM Punk. That it, but it's just... It's baffling. But let's see what CM Punk said in response. Oh wait, no, no, no. CM Punk doesn't need to say anything. A wee George Bush meme was good enough for him. What about Tony Khan? What did he make of these ratings? Did he tuck his tail in between his legs and, you know, forget about it? Or did he try and stay on his high horse about it? Let's see, shall we? Let's bloody see. And as you can see, Tony Cam with this tweet, man, he's pure marking it. He's like, just got the great news for TBS Network. Last night, Wednesday night, AEW Dynamite, up 29% from last week, up 17% over six-week average. Thank you all watching AEW Wednesday. See ya, stack TBS wrestling show Wednesday and Indy, plus rampaging and colliding this week on TNT. End of tweet. And it's just like, hold on. He says this like they can maintain it. And as I said there, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't even matter if they drew 10 million on this show. Like, what, what fucking good is that going to do? The, the, the network, T TBS, TNT, whatever, will just know that this rating has been drawn because they promised backstage footage of a fight that took place 
in AEW, right? Uh, pay per views. got nothing to do with the good television. It's a fucking mess. It's not even like they incorporate it, the fight scene, and they, like, like, they could have done it so much better. Like, it's just the fact that it was simply a reaction to what Punk had said in that interview. At least if they'd shown it before that interview, it's like, well, AEW's Drew first, but Punk said, comes out, speaks the truth, and then all this did was back up CM Punk. Seriously, like, the more you look at this decision from AEW, you, you seriously got to question the sanity of some of the people in this company and how this was just an absolute clusterfuck idea. I mean, yeah, it's their highest rating since they brought in Mercedes Monet, Okada, and Will Osprey. But, but so what? It doesn't do anything. They will not maintain this going forward. AEW is going down the shitter. Tony Elton, you know what? It just shows you, though, the lengths that this guy has went to to try and bring in ratings and what other lengths is he going to go to in the future? <laughs>